Welcome back to Rapid Resizer Academy. In this lesson, I will show you how to edit your own custom lettering using Rapid Resizer's designer. First and foremost, ensure that you are signed into your Rapid Resizer account. You can either customize lettering from the letter stencil maker or from the designer's add text button. For more information on creating word stencils with our letter stencil maker, be sure to check out the Academy video on this tool. In this video, we will be looking at editing text from the add text button in the designer rather than working from a letter stencil. Let's click on the designer to begin. For this example, I will create a Christmas card design with the words Joy to the World. Click the Add Text button and choose a font to begin adding text. With Joy typed, I can click Add Text. It's a great idea to add each word as its own block, as it will make editing them much easier later. So now I will add the to, and then the the, and lastly the world separately. Let's make the line art a little bit thinner, and lower the value in the line box to around 0.05. To create a more visually dynamic layout, you can make some of the words smaller than others. Use the Select and Move tool to highlight a piece of text and then click and drag the piece in or out. This looks great, but we can customize the lettering even more. There are many ways to customize your design. First, you will need to ungroup the design to make it editable. Ungrouping will separate the letters from each other, allowing you to freely modify the size of each letter. Left click and draw a box around the full design to select all the pieces so you can ungroup them all at once. You'll notice two types of points when you click on a letter. The black regular points you can add and remove, and the blue tangent points that are not on the line. These points allow you to move the curve around more freely. It's fun to play around with the thickness of some of the letters, creating a more dramatic cursive typeface. Move the black points out to make the curves larger, and then smooth out these curves with the blue tangent points. I want to make much more dramatic curves on both the J and the W. When customizing your letters, don't rush through this process. Take a moment to smooth out any curves you're dissatisfied with. We can use the Add or Delete Point tool to add or remove any points to smooth out the lettering. We can also undo or redo any changes. You can use the Curve tool to add some flourishes to a design. Freehand flourishes by either left-clicking and dragging, or click along a path to create points. For further information on the drawing tools, check out the Become a Drawing Pro with our Designer Tool Academy video. To create a thicker flourish, I will add another line underneath and connect them to make the flourish taper off. If you would like to create a well-balanced design, consider adding a flourish to the bottom as well to balance out the top piece. Once again, I will draw with the curve, and then using the select and move, the points can be shifted to create a smooth line. Using the same tools as before, I will begin by freehanding the lower curve, and then using the select and move tool to smooth out the curve. Adding flourishes to cursive fonts creates a polished final product. Taking the time to customize your lettering can take your design from ordinary to extraordinary. It will give this Christmas card an extra special touch.
To create a consistent lettering style, you can add some small flourishes to the middle letters. I press the C key, which is the shortcut for the copy tool to duplicate the curve on the T. The W is now the only letter that seems disconnected. So let's take a moment to add a small curve to connect it to the O. While in the designer, feel free to import any artwork to add from your account or from the design library. For this card, adding some holly may be a nice addition. You can rotate objects with turn so that they nestle into designs cleanly. You can also change the line width of the design to match the text line width. I'm using the zoom tools to focus on each point, making them more manageable for adjustments. Before wrapping up, let's give those lines a makeover and any finishing touches they need. Additionally, I'm navigating around the canvas using the pan tool with the arrows on my keyboard. Once you're satisfied with your lettering, for our designer and pro users, don't forget to save your masterpiece to your account. Then you can head to the Customize and Resize printing page. From here, you can further customize your design and multiple cards with repeat. You can resize your design to fit any project. Here is the final card. That's a wrap for everything we're covering today. I hope that this video has given you a better grasp of custom lettering.